Once you're happy with looking at the uh, 10x in focus, um, the, the same idea holds true for the next objective lens. So if you want to see what it looks like under the next biggest objective lens, which is the 40x, again, don't move the stage up and down. Once you have it in sharp focus on the 10x, simply just slide the next guy into place. It might look like it's going to touch your specimen because uh, this is a bigger lens, so it'll be uh, quite a bit closer to the specimen. So it, 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 looked like, it might look like it'll bump into the specimen, but as long as you are in sharp focus on this guy, you can rest assured that you can click the next guy into place without having it crash into the specimen. So the same thing, uh, well, once you slide the next guy into place, if you didn't move the uh, adjustment knobs up or down, when you look, it should pretty much be in focus like this guy is right now. If not, what you'll have to do is just make some minor teeny tiny adjustments by moving the uh, fine adjustment knob kind of like this. And so uh, once you're happy with taking a look at the uh, specimen under the 40x uh, objective lens, uh, what you want to do is, uh, and you might not have done this before in your cell biology class before coming here, but uh, we're actually going to use the 100x objective lens, which is called the uh, oil immersion lens. And the reason why it's called the oil immersion lens is because you actually have to dip it uh, in a drop of oil in order to be able to see through it uh, clearly. So here's what we're talking about with uh, dipping it in a drop of oil. So to use the oil immersion lens, what you do is you uh, click the 4DX lens out of, uh, out of the way and before you slide the 100X oil immersion lens into place, what you do is you grab some uh, uh, oil immersion, uh, it's basically just mineral oil and uh, this can be found in your, uh, in your drawers and uh, what you do is you put, uh, you put a drop of oil actually directly on the specimen, right on top of it before you click the oil immersion into place and basically what uh, will happen when you click the oil immersion into place is that it should the objective lens itself should be actually sitting uh, in, in that drop of oil and so uh, when it's sitting in that drop of oil and you look down you might what, what, one thing you might do is uh, increase the amount of light because uh, less light goes through the big boy lens here so you're gonna have to increase the amount of light to get um, uh, maybe a, a better view and then again, if you did not move the stage up or down, all, you, um, all you'd have to do if it's not already, if it's not already in focus is to uh, just make some really, really fine adjustments until you finally see something uh, come into focus. So one thing that commonly happens is that um, you might be able to get your specimen into focus on maybe the 4X lens, the 10X lens, the 40X lens, but for some reason, this uh, 100X lens, the oil immersion lens, just will not come into focus. No matter how many, uh, how much twiddling you do, or how um, how good you think you're focusing in, just for some reason, uh, one of the lenses might not come into focus for you. And so, uh, whenever that happens, uh, probably what that means is that the lens that's not coming into focus, it's probably dirty. And so, it turns out that uh, there's a proper way to clean a dirty lens so that you can uh, focus on a specimen uh, through it. And the proper uh, the proper way to clean uh, a dirty lens is, uh, well, you need a couple of things. You're gonna need some of this stuff, uh, lens paper, uh, and there should be uh, some of this in your drawers. And also you're gonna need some of this uh, lens cleaner, and uh, there should be some of this in the front of the room. And so what you do is that, so it actually it should be noted that, uh, again, you wanna use lens paper and not any of the other stuff that, might, that you might find in the lab. So paper towel is no good, um, Kim wipes are no good, there's this stuff in your uh, drawer called uh, bibulous paper. That, that's no good. Again, what you want to use is this lens paper, and basically the reason why is because this stuff is, uh, the, the paper is really, really fine, so that you can use it to rub up against the objective lens without any uh, fear of scratching the objective lens. Right, so if you want to clean a lens, again, maybe because uh, for, it just won't focus uh, no matter what you do, um, what you do is you grab Grab a piece of lens paper. Just one piece will do you. And then you moisten the lens paper with some of the lens cleaner. I fold it maybe, uh, fold it over twice. And then you moisten it with some of the lens cleaner. And then you take it and uh, you basically just go to town on the lens that's giving you problems. So you take it and you just kind of Rub as hard as you can up against that lens that's giving you problems. Again, because this is really, really fine lens paper, um, 
rubbing up against it as hard as you can is not going to damage it. It's not going to scratch it whatsoever. So rub it against uh, the objective lens as hard as you can in order to get as much of that dirt off as possible. And so after I rub it for uh, maybe a few seconds like that, um, I use maybe a, a dry piece of the lens paper, a, piece, a side that doesn't have any uh, lens cleaner on it, and I use that to kind of dry it off. Again, press as hard as you can so you can get as much of the debris off as you can. And so uh, once you've given it the once over, kind of like that, uh, hopefully what was once uh, something that you could not get into focus no matter what you did, uh, hopefully now uh, will come in as sharp focus. And uh, that applies to any one of these lenses. So if any one of these lenses, for some reason, uh, you, you're not able to focus in on it, it probably means that it's dirty. And uh, in order to clean a dirty lens, uh, just do what, uh, what we just showed you.